on my own bottle. Okay. Can I get this filled, please? I watch. Hello, Okanagan from Vernon. Chug, 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 chug. Hey guys, we're making our own wine here today. Let's go, buddy. Chug, 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 chug. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel and like this video for future posts and future content. Welcome back, hello Okanaganers. Another episode here. Very, very excited to have Jill. Thank you for joining us here from Coriolis Wine Cellar. And Jill's gonna walk us through the entire process of how to make wine. Very, very cool. Wait up, what am I? <laughs> it's gotta be you and me first, then we introduce her to So tell us um, like your product now. What's, like where do you get your product from and is it exclusive to the Okanagan? Yes, it is, and the product is from Mosti Mondial, which is out of Quebec. Uh, the process is uh, very simple. It's out of kits, and um, you're making one simple batch at a time. And what is the full process? They come in with their own bottles? You supply bottles? We do supply bottles, but they can come in with their own. We encourage people to use their own, so it's environmentally Recycle, friendly. Recycle, reuse. Yes, yes. exactly. They basically pitch the yeast into the wine that we're going to make. When they pitch the yeast, it's still into juice. So there's no taxes on that as well. Oh, wow. So that's a savings and makes it very affordable. We're very excited to learn about how it goes and, and what the process is. So why don't you walk us through it? So first, I guess we're washing bottles. These are used sterilizing bottles already? The sterilizing the bottles. Sterilizing them? So these are bottles that have been used before? Yes. Okay, so just basically put them in? Yes. They're clean bottles. You're putting them in to be sterilized. This process will take about three and a half minutes. Here. And you know what I learned once, many moons ago? This little thing on the bottom, see this little dimple? It's for, it, oh crap, I forgot what it's called now is called a punt and it's for a waiter because apparently if you hold a wine like this it changes the temperature or whatever fancy you know people so they put their thumb like this the labels always shown to the guests when they order their specific wine and he just pours or she pours like this and that's what it's there for actually it has nothing to do with pushing like the volume of the wine up and down or anything like that's literally for holding it we just spent half the episode having Peter tell us about the punt. Wonderful. So now when it comes from Quebec off the back of a truck, is it in liquid form and how do you, what's the process before you bottle them? Yes, it is in liquid form. Okay. So it's you're not getting the actual grapes and juicing them yourself? No, Okay. not at all. It's uh, in, in a process already done, and it's set at the specific gravity for us. And it comes in this bucket here? Yes, correct. Okay. That's what does that all word juice. mean? What is gravity? Specific gravity for Specific you. gravity is the amount of sugars and, oh, okay. and bricks for the wine. Very cool. The next step is you put it in a, a like sanitized bucket. Yep, yeah, no, it goes oh, into okay. a sanitized bucket for a few days where you're going to pitch the yeast into it. You're going to put on the yeast. And if it has oak or anything added to it, you would add that at that time. Or sometimes- So you can actually add the oak rather than yes. fermenting it in the oak barrels. That's correct. So what do you, how do you add oak? We add oak chips to oh, it to give it- Oh, actual chips. Yes. Can you actually show me some of the wood chips? I'd like to see that. Of course, yeah, yeah. you bet. We've got uh, fine oak, you've got regular oak. Uh, I don't have a dark oak So where here. would you use the different versions here? in different types of wine. Like okay. a Chardonnay, you might want a So clear. the larger ones have stronger flavor, whereas, yeah. oh, okay, interesting. That's and then, so what you want. So you've got literally everything here to make kits at home. So where yes. I, like I grew up, well grew up, I was born in Romania, so all of my family actually, they make their own wine. So it's really cool to see that you've got all the kits here. My dad actually, uh, 
uh, still brews his own, and so do my like all my grandparents mm -hmm. and everybody back in Romania. So it's a really okay. cool process to watch. Okay, so looks like it's done. Correct. And I guess these just go back on that tree? That's correct. To drain, they're going to go back on the tree. We'll put the, the green ones on the bottom if we can, and the clear ones up top. And so to start the process, put your bottle on, it's going to start. And the wine will totally clear up. It comes through with aeration and it will totally clear once it's finished. Do you have to let it air out before you cork it? No, you don't actually. You can cork it right away. Okay. The next one you just put on like so and pull it down. And now I'm going to show you how to cork it. Okay. Okay. So we just. I've been, tell, I've been trying to cork David for a long time. Like, just, <laughs> just set sometimes. Your I'm uncorkable. Too much. The cork goes in the top, and you close the door tight shut. That's it. It's corked. Look, I'm holding the punt. <laughs> Peter's three minute rant worked out, you know, I learned something new. When your guests come on here, it, it, like to make their own wine, what's their favorite process? Besides the drinking part, what's their favorite process? <laughs> Do they all have like the same process that they like, whether it's the corking or the label or? I think it's the corking actually. They they seem to, yeah, they seem to like that the best. It seems like David loves that the best too. <laughs> yeah. It's the most satisfying part. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> We're, I don't have any more bottles. You gotta wine more. We're making oh. these for our followers, so keep making these bottles. Check this out. They're not just gonna be blank bottles. We actually have our own labels. So the first bottle that came from a wonderful vintage with Hello Okanagan is the Valpolicella brand. And one of my favorites, the Pinot Grigio White. And and our third blend, German Mühle. There you go. Hey, sir, did you order some cheese from the Wedge Cheesery? Of course. I guess you can't have wine without some good cheese. You're spinning it out. <laughs> I forgot to have my retainer in. I just went to, I just went to chew, and I was like, I was like, oh. I will. I need more wine because David took my wine. You lost privileges, Peter. You shouldn't yeah. leave your glass unattended. Now, aren't you not supposed to drink from an unattended glass, though? Exactly. Pardon me. You took. I could have. I could have roofied you. I hope you roofied me. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. By the way, this is a really good time to say it's time for an Oganagan update with Elizabeth Flowers. Hello, Okanagan. I'm Elizabeth Flowers, and here is your Okanagan update. BC Cider Celebrations are in full swing up until May 30th. This 10-day festival, which was founded in 2016, is a chance to connect cider fans with cider makers across the province. Taste a new cider, visit a cider taproom, or buy a supply of cider online. Here in the Okanagan, you can take part in the Okanagan Cider Trail Challenge at six cideries. Fill up your trail card and receive a 25% off any purchase. Cards are available at participating cideries. And fans of fair foods have been going without this year because there have been no fairs. But now you can get your fair food fix in the parking lot of the Village Green Hotel in Vernon, where several mobile food vendors have set up to give us our fix every Thursday through Saturday. Tables and umbrellas have been set up in the parking lot. And don't forget to stop on by the Vernon Farmer's Market this Monday, May 24th, and meet the team from Hello Okanagan. We'll be filming an episode, taking ideas for future episodes, and selling our merchandise for our Kelowna fans at the East Kelowna Market. We can't wait to see you there. That's all for this week's Okanagan Update, and now we'll go back to the episode. Like a bunch of Jill? Yeah. Not only 
do you put a cork on it? Not only do you shrink wrap it, not only do you give them customized labels, like you could have just, they could have just walked out like this and people would have been happy. But no, it's not good for Jill. <laughs> no, Jill needs the shrink wrap it. She needs to label yes. it. I love so this, this girl. So this is the shrink wrapping machine. It only takes a couple seconds. Pop it in, pull it out. Do not leave it in. It will start a fire and I'll have the fire department here. That literally took like a half a minute. That's right. Pop it in, pull it out. There we go. You know what I like about these actually? They have the little tab yeah. to pull. It's see dumb most, dumb. yeah, see most, most wines that I've had lately, you have to like cut it with the knife. <laughs> so un, so inconvenient, you know? It's just, it's much easier to just grab the tab and just pull. So the next process is labeling. So you pop your bottle down here. And these are all peel and stick labels that have been personalized with Hello Okanagan from Coriali's Wine Cellar. This is your Pinot Grigio. Just put it down in the middle and push it off. Simple. Hey Jill. Yes. I brought my own bottle. Okay. Can I get this filled, please? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> Action! Oh, choked on air. Okay, so we've pitched the yeast and we're letting it ferment in these buckets here. Then they've been transferred into uh, into the glass bottles here. The carboys, yeah. Yeah. How long is the process in here and then what can we expect from this process? In this process, it can be anywhere from four weeks to 14 weeks. So it just depends on what type of wine you've chosen and the process as to how long it's going to be. Do reds generally take longer than whites or vice versa or does it just matter on the grape? Nope, it matters on the grape. Okay, and then after they're done from there, you're pretty much ready to bottle or is there another step of filtration? Or yes, that we filter. Okay. Uh, the wines get filtered twice uh, through a filter process. Okay, and, and, that. and what does the filter process look like? Uh oh, I can show you. Oh, okay. You bet. Let's go to the filter process. Okay, like these wines here are ready for filtering. Okay. Okay, which we'll be doing uh, at the end of the week here. And as you can see, they have all the sediments sitting on the bottom. They're not clear like the other wines that you saw. Yep. So those will be filtered through uh, so these. So the, the, the jug goes into where? Uh, they go through a filter... Uh, a filter system. Tube, yeah. yeah. It's a filter system that's hooked up on here. Okay. And they will go through the pads, are put in here, in between. And there's one in between each one. Oh, okay. Okay, and they'll go through that, and it'll pick up all the sediment. And you do that twice? Yes, it's done through a coarse filter first, and then a fine filter. How long can you keep this in your basement or in your storage area before it starts? A white wine, we say two to three years. A red wine, five to seven years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. then after we've filtered it twice, mm -hmm. we take it straight to the bottling process. After it's filtered twice, yes. Then the customer will come in. Uh, I will phone and, and book in a bottling time and they will come in and bottle. So from all of this, before the customer comes in, mm -hmm. what's the, how long is that process? It can be anywhere from four to 14 weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah, depending on what wine they chose. So they have to phone way in advance. I can't yes. say this Thursday, hey, I'd like to come down no. and make some wine. No. Okay, great. It's all done ahead of time. Wonderful. Yep. Thank you so much for watching another episode, Hello Okanaganers, and thank you, Jill, so much for walking us through the process and for helping us with our own wine vintage at Coriolis Wines. Uh, so thank you so much. Where can they find you and, and your website and all that information for more info? CorielliesWine.ca is where we're located, and you can find all the information on there. And you guys, make sure that you follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram, because this Tuesday we're going to be giving away bottles of our own homemade wine. So check that out. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Give us a comment. Let us know what you liked about this episode, what else you might want to see, and we'll see you next week. Peter, did you say bottles? Yeah. Bottles. Yeah. We're giving away bottles. All of this with our labels we're giving away. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Your chance to win. Hey everyone, if you want to support us, get some merch like this t-shirt. It comes in black as well with hoodies and sweatshirts. Coffee mugs. Check out this beauty. And the best part of this whole thing, a koozie. And it's not just for beer, we're in the Okanagan. So, use it for your Pinot Grigio.